Welcome to Awesome Care. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we will learn about uh, string types in Rust. So we are going to have a string variable. Do let, and we are going to set its value. So this would be name one, and we are going to set its value to Tom. And to print, we can use print line. And in uh, curly braces, we're just going to pass in uh, the <coughs> our name variable. And at the end, just a semicolon and run our code. And we get this Tom uh, printed. We're gonna not assign a new value to our uh, string variable, it's immutable. So for example, if we want to change the value of name one to John, or uh, you can also concatenate. So over here, we are assigning a new value and we try to run the code again. And we get this uh, error message. Cannot assign it twice to immutable variable. So it will not uh, work even we assign a mood to that, M-U-T. Let's try that too. So here we going to add and run it again. The same error so this will not work and if you want to create a dynamic uh, string uh, we can do that uh, whose value we can change so let's uh, create another string and we're just going to so we can create a dynamic string this way Empty. Okay. We are going to use a string and from this is a colon Peter. Make it mutable. And here we are going to concatenate to name two. And we're going to add a space and we are going to add Parker. And here I'm just going to print name two. I will just remove this line. And now we are going to run our code. And now we get this thing working and get that name uh, added or concatenated to the string over here. So with the dynamic string, we can change the value of that uh, string variable. And we are going to learn about uh, something that is unique to Rust. So for example, we have another name, name three, and we are assigning it uh, the value of uh, name one. And now we cannot use name one. We don't need a mutable here. We just gotta remove. So in Rust, uh, this can cause an issue because uh, when we 
over here assigning the value of name one to name three and the uh, ownership changes and this will become a new owner instead of assigning this way you can use a format macro so like this one, format and this will make a new copy and it will be assigned to name three and we still can be able to use a name one variable so this is a better way for name two we need to be literal because we're using the concatenate Parker. And we have the value of name one printed over here. And same way we can use name three. And we get the same result. Another way to add to a string is, so we are going to use a push str uh, to push a string. So we're just going to so here we are going to use name two dot push string, and here you need to add a reference to that string. This will be. And, and this will be name one. I will add a space before this because it will be added after this picture. And we are going to print uh, name two. So we just keep this name three and we are going to print uh, name two also. This have a semicolon. So this way we can add a string. So we can use a push str. So we can see yeah, it added the, the string Tom of the Peter. Now we will see how to print each character from a string. So we are going to use for for Character in our name two, we can use cars method and so we are looping through each character of the string and we are going to print each character. So we are just gonna use a print instead of print line so we can get all those characters in a single line. So this will be our C and we can run our code to fix this. So we are able to print those characters one by one to keep on learning. Please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code, like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.